Welcome everyone to Pontos Fathom Hobbies. This is season 10, episode 3 of Joan of Arc, and we are playing from the Apocalypse expansion set. And we're playing the scenario called the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. It is round 3, so we'll do a quick recap of round 2. Uh, this will be the third round, so we'll be activating our third um, uh, our third uh, horseman, which will be Famine. Uh, so this guy over here, I'll give you guys a quick look at him. And Famine has also got these uh, ghost-mounted ghosts. So I'll show, give you guys a quick look at these. Famine is pretty cool. So yeah, we'll jump into uh, jump right into round three. Before we do it, quick shout out to our our sponsor, Pontus Fathom Press. Uh, recently published Alchemy of Azathoth wraps up the three volumes of the Disclosure from the Necronomicon fragment. Uh, you can get Hermeticism of Hastor Volume Two or Necromancy of Nyarlathotep. Each volume is a standalone book, but they do go together if you want to collect the full set and they also complement the genealogy of Cthulhu from the Lovecraft uh, out of Lovecraft's Providence series you can get the first uh, book of that genealogy of Cthulhu on our patreon for as little as a dollar um, go ahead and check out other be member benefits there and as usual uh, watching the, through the videos liking subscribing sharing ringing the bell will not only notify you uh, on our upcoming painting videos and gameplay videos, but it'll also help us out with the um, uh, Battle of Armageddon in the uh, YouTube uh, ranking system. So thanks a lot for your support. Let's jump into round three. So again, we're going to activate uh, Famine this round as well. Let's get our activation tokens. We've got three each. Uh, we'll also do our war council. You can have a reactivate, gain two cards, and a token, and discard one of the cards. So yeah, maybe that'll be good to do for each of us. So I'll have the first, the shadow player will go, or an unholy player. They've got retaliate and paralysis. Okay, so I'm going to take the Paralysis one for them, and we'll put this one at the bottom of the deck, and we also will gain a token. And I'll do the same thing for the, just while I'm here, for the Holy Player. Okay, so I can get a gift at any time. That's, that's easy. So I can get some extra experience. Uh, so I'll just put this here for now in the reserve. Uh, we'll also grab one of these. We'll grab back one of these tokens. <coughs> Influence token from the Merchant Girl. And we will go ahead and start with uh, passing out our three activation tokens. I'm going to go ahead and do another activation. I guess I have to wait for my turn. Okay, so we're going to, yes, so we'll start out with, let's do um, one, two, and let's do three for these guys, get them mobilized. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead with this. Oh, we're going to move these guys into here. We'll also move this fellow here. And I think I'm going to move the merchant girl. Well, I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that special ability of move civilians one area, and I will move these guys here. Move all civilians here. They move into the church. So I'm going to have all of these move into the church, and then I'm going to activate both the angel and the. Uh, and St. Patrick. So I will be able to bring um, 
Angel and St. Patrick down. They are going to get the initiative this time. Actually, it's the holy player gets the initiative this round. And they will take the token here. So we'll also move this guy one. We'll move this one, one and one. And we will move these one and one. Okay, so we've got those three in the in the church. So we'll activate the church space. We will activate the uh, this one, and we'll also activate these uh, bowmen, and that should give us some attacks for for everyone. And we can save this for activation for. Yeah, I activated the. I activated. Uh, I, uh, it's the turn first turn initiative for the holy player this round. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, first of all we will bring. So we moved all the civilians one space. We can put these back. Um, and we can uh, go ahead and. have the bone setter call down the angel so we'll have this angel come into this space right here which is activated uh, we'll also have the we'll also have the merchant girl and the blacksmith they will bring St. Patrick in so St. Patrick is brought in let me just double check the rule here for St. Saint, Saint Patrick's arrival. Special rule for St. Patrick's arrival is um, attacks cannot be declared in an area containing St. Patrick. Okay, so he can just force a push in an adjacent area. So uh, I'm going to have him do, that's I guess if we have the attack. So let's have the uh, bowmen here attacking the mounted knights. So those bowmen will go for uh, two dice. Mounted knights get, mounted skeletons get one. Uh, what am I doing here? They get one white as a defense. Bowman also counts shields as disrupts. Shield is a disrupt, so we get to send these mounted skeletons to the... Oh, and I forgot to roll these these guys here last round. Let's do... I forgot to roll the, um, uh, the doom die last time. So disrupted still and dead. So we've lost our peasants here. These peasants are dead, and that'll be fine. And then we'll move these into the disrupt mounted skeletons. Okay, next up we will have the angel attack the. Uh, we'll have the angel attack the uh, war horsemen, the horsemen of war. So the angel has. one red and two whites for an attack the war horseman for war has a red die and a black die for defense so we'll roll his defense here and we'll roll the attack from the angel here and we've got a disrupt and a shield so i'm going to do a re-roll also i'm going to do a re-roll for this with my re-roll token and still nothing so unfortunately no attack there okay so then we're gonna have these bowmen go bowmen against mounted knights again uh, skeletal knights they get a die roll and we get double die roll and we have two pushes so these pushes get made st. Patrick is also activated in there he can push an adjacent enemy so let's have him push this here 
and next up we will have these bowmen attacking the let's have them attack those uh, we've got these guys here conquest so we'll have these guys attack from the bowmen they are called the damned so our bowmen here will attack the damned they have a black and a red for defense black and red for defense and they actually get um, disrupted so one of these gets disrupted put it there okay great next up um, we've got final one one two those bowmen have gone <coughs> okay that's gonna wrap it up for the holy player let's go ahead to the um, let's go ahead and activate here we'll activate him and we'll activate these guys so let's start with them we're gonna move all of this down to here So these, they're moving in. Uh, we will also move the uh, going to move these guys in. They'll this will get disrupted here, so that is gone now. As we move these skeletons into here, now we can't move into that space uh, with the with the um, we cannot move into the space with the relic there, whatever that's called. So we'll just move these guys all here and we'll also move famine to here. Okay, so let's have um, mounted skeletons, the damned attacking with two red versus the bowmen. So bowmen get a defense of uh, one white. Two red versus a white. shield two red versus a white they get uh, routed so the bowmen get pushed here um, let's go ahead and have the skeletons attack the pikemen skeletons attack the pikemen so skeletons uh, they go with a two yellow pikemen get uh, I guess they're called militia Provincial Militia. Provincial Militia. They get a yellow defense, so it's yellow versus yellow. And we'll do that twice. So attack, defend. They got the shield up. So that one was blocked. One more round. Uh, they get a, a wounded. And then last one. nothing and then finally let's have conquest go conquest will attack those uh, with for each follow-up after combat performed for the hun unholy unit gain one power token so we can gain a power token just because we had a successful combat and let's have it They can do a three dice for the ranged attack. So let's do the three dice for the range attack. And provincial militia go grab one yellow. So they've got routes and route. So these guys get pushed out of this holy relic space. So let's move these all around. And uh, we can have them move down maybe next round. Uh, let's have. Uh, War attack the. Let's have war attack the. Um, angel. War is going to attack the angel. Actually, let's have war attack the bowman because it's easier. Just pick it off. Uh, that'll just weaken their 
attack a bit, so I'll have him attack that. That's going to be a red and a white, but uh, wounds count as kills, or disrupts count as kills, so a red and a white versus a white for defense. So here's the white for defense. Blank, and here's the attack. And that counts as a kill. So they have, war has taken out this. Um, and that is going to do it for the round. Let's do our doom dice here. So we've got a kill. We've got a disrupt. We've got a rally. This guy's a rally back to here. We've got a uh, move to the infirmary, and we've got a, another move for these guys, so they can rally next round. Okay, uh, okay, that's going to do it for round three. Uh, getting exciting. Next round, we get to launch the final of the four horsemen, Death. So uh, stay tuned. We'll see you guys in round four. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.